I think there's been a big shift in recent years of seeing women in all different types of roles. Caitlin Vinci, host and reporter for Fox Sports. Women have learned over the years, when we work together, we can make great things happen. Alex Weaver, host and reporter for NASCAR. We are seeing the future of our sport, not just in the cars and the drivers, but also in what the personnel looks like. Nichelle Levy, senior assistant general counsel, NASCAR. The presence of women is extremely strong in this company. Lauren Edwards, president at Brand Digital. Now we're starting to see women in these senior roles, and that for me is so exciting as an industry. Tony Branger, driver of the number 25 for Venture Motorsports. When I'm out there on the track, I want to do well to help you know the other girls be able to come through. Kelly Earnhardt Miller, CEO of Junior Motorsports. Be who you are, be what you are, stand out, stand up. Welcome to our Charging Forward Roundtable panel here. We are celebrating Women's History Month, and we have an esteemed panel that we're going to talk about the landscape that is always changing here in NASCAR and getting more females involved in the sport. So, Kelly, I want to start with you because being a female in this sport, you have grown up around this sport, but what have you seen the change in NASCAR recently with more females stepping into roles? I think the most exciting thing for me is that there's more women forward facing now, you know, more outwardly facing in positions. I mean, look at us, six, you know, successful women here. I can think of, you know, six times six times six more, right? Which has not always been the case. I think sports in general have seen an influx of women coming in with a lot of interest and passion, and NASCAR is certainly included within that. And I think we are seeing a lot of women across many different areas, drivers, legal, marketing, PR, hosting, like across so many different areas that women are really leaning into sports right now, and it's really exciting from top to bottom in so many different areas that our sport needs. Tony, from your perspective as a driver, how are you seeing this kind of change taking place? Yeah, I definitely see a lot more female drivers coming in, especially when you go to the local track races. You see a lot of younger girls coming up, which is really exciting and refreshing to see. And I think, you know, in the next five years, there's gonna be like a whole new wave of female drivers, and it's gonna be really exciting. From the NASCAR perspective, the inside of NASCAR, the league perspective, I've always been truly impressed about the women who have been leaders here. It feels very authentic to NASCAR. Betty Jane France um, obviously had a huge impact on the company and we still honor her uh, with her own award. Um, so I just feel like the presence of women is extremely strong in this company. I think so with us too. It's, it's always nice to see mentors and bosses and supervisors that are females. There's just a different mindset when you have females in the workplace. Nothing against the males by any means, but it's just nice to walk into an office and know that there's a female that kind of has your back um, and can be a mentor. I think there's been a big shift in recent years of seeing women in all different types of roles like you guys were talking about. Roles that were not traditionally held by women in the sport of NASCAR. Engineers, track operators, play-by-play -play announcers, drivers. It's, it's all changing and I think more and more women are seeing there is a seat at the table for them here in this sport. And it's not just checking a box for a woman to be in that role, it's qualified women getting these jobs because they deserve it. Tony was very modest, but she posted a tweet that showed a picture of herself and two women pit crew mm -hmm. members on her team, and she had a top 10 finish that day. So that was three women that essentially came across that top 10 line. I was jumping up and down at my house. <laughs> so I just think that was, it's not just you as the driver, but you're also supporting that within your pit crew. Yeah. I don't look at myself as a woman in sports. The way I came through the sport is my legacy and my heritage and my family, you know, so. But what I think is important about that and what I think about is important about bringing groups like this together is that others see what's achievable. Yeah, Kelly, that's a great point. And Lauren, I just want to circle back to your team because we see your team walking around the racetrack and it's a creative, intelligent, group of women that are, are leading over there with the digital side of things. One, how do you find these creative women and make sure that you're supporting them, but also why is it important for us as females to continue building other females up in this sport? Yeah, we've been so fortunate uh, at Ren Digital to hire amazing women. Um, I did not set out to own a business um, solely of women. I, I wanted to build an amazing agency that supports our partners as best as possible. One of the things that I am very passionate about is putting the right person in the right role. And for us, so far, that has been females. 
We have a female videographer who I just think the world of. She's so creative and brilliant. She's out there with the men on pit road, carrying all of her camera equipment. Um, and, and that to me is so exciting to see. Uh, and as you said, you know, it's exciting to see for everyone in the sport to say like, you know, there isn't a single role here that can't be filled by a female. And Kelly, what about you at Junior Motorsports? I mean, it starts with the CEO is a female, but it trickles down to a lot of powerful women over at that organization too. Yeah, you know, one of the things I think is really cool about Junior Motorsports and being the leader, being a female leader, is I have a different uh, viewpoint of getting up in front of the guys. You know, I'm a 70-30, 70% male, 30% probably women at Junior Motorsports. And, um, you know, there's something to be said about me being able to get up in a, in a group of men and nurture and encourage and cheerlead and, and uh, just being able to bring some of those character traits out that men typically wouldn't bring out, you know, in front of them. And you mentioned leadership. What are some qualities that you look at for a women to have, uh, whether they're leaders or someone that maybe you would hire to be a part of your team? The first thing I look for is substantive skill. You have to be good at what you do. That is table stakes, right? So I want people who are coming in who are obviously very skilled. So there's no question that you ought to be in this role. Then I think you have to be able to listen. I want to be inviting and welcoming to people. I want people to feel like I'm approachable, like my door is open to them. I do think I want a team that reflects that as well. I want people who are, are engaging and want to be engaged. Um, so that's kind of some of the things that I look for. We are seeing the future of our sport, not just in the cars and the drivers, but also in what the personnel looks like all around our sport. So Lauren, you touched on the most qualified people just happen to be female that you bring into your roles, but what can we do moving forward to make sure that there are even more females in the sport? One of the things I wanna be really mindful about is you know, we wanna make sure that we're not saying, oh, we need to hire women because we need to hire women. We need to hire really good people. Honestly, what we're seeing from a competition standpoint is going to help. The TV ratings are up. People are excited about what's happening in NASCAR right now. That brings overall interest to the sport for men and women. There is a lot of interest right now, and I love it. It's exciting, and I think that taking that interest and passion and then being really mindful as you're building a team of creating a team of people that have many different backgrounds and experiences. Tony, let's bring it over to you on the driver side of things. How do we get more female drivers? What do we need to do? For me, I think the biggest thing is being welcoming to when there are female drivers, and I think you know other people will take note of that and will notice and young girls will be like oh like these girls are all so nice to each other and so supportive of each other and just such like a welcoming community I think they'll just bring more people in at the end of the day it also comes down to funding so I think when you know younger girls see brands stepping up and supporting female drivers I'll kind of inspire them too yeah I think things flow through you know through changes of society right if we look back in time where the role was the mom stayed home they took care of the children they cooked the meals you know and the dad went out and provided for the family those roles are obviously changing. That's just a societal shift that's changing. I um, can't cook, so. And, <laughs> and so, uh, maybe not for you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we see that changing, and I think, therefore, it's changing in different industries, right? When I was a driver uh, in the late model stock series, you know, there might have been one or two females, um, and I never had females that were capable of coming to help me pit a car. And I think we see it differently now, you know, when you show up to uh, late model races is there's a handful of females that are there. I think as society is shift, we're, we're obviously shifting and we just need to continue to make that push. I mean, that's what happened. Women decided to stand up and say, hey, I wanna go to work and that's what happened. Now, you know, we stand up and say, we wanna lead. Um, we wanna lead companies. We wanna be in roles um, where our skills and, and our abilities and our energy matches. And so, um, you know, I think we just continue to push for those things, right? And like you said, it's always about the best people, good people. And I think we'll just continue you to see that shift as we embrace what we're seeing that then other people will embrace what they're seeing and then it will just continue that shift and change. And I would just add on that that you know if you can see it you can be it. Things like this, yes. this is an opportunity mm -hmm. right? So I, I know when I started in NASCAR people in my family and my social circle, they didn't know anything about NASCAR. They couldn't understand why I was working here. <laughs> That's not the case anymore. Uh, people know more about our sport. They know more about the people in the sport, the people behind the sport. So these efforts like this, um, and the Black History Month piece too, all of that exposure shows people that, oh, wow, there's different kind of people that work there. I had no idea that they had women in leadership roles or African-American people in leadership roles. And I think things like this help to open people's eyes to what's possible.